Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're good. And welcome to another reading vlog. I'm filming this almost immediately after finishing my closing clip for my first D&D vlog. The magical D&D vlog. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it. <laughs> Spoiler, it didn't quite go to plan. I have a lot of things on my TBR, but I was planning on doing this vlog anyway for later in the month. I'm just going to film it now. I'm going to start filming it now because I am in the need of what I'm hoping are some quick wins. And they should be wins because this is three of these nine manga series that I really want to try in 2024 that I put out places. I think I put it on Instagram and in my Discord and I might have talked about it in my goals. I can't remember. But this is mostly me reading weird manga. Maybe not all of it's weird. Most of it's pretty weird. And recently I have acquired the first three that I want to pick up. I'm very excited for them and now seem like the perfect time. So first up we have The Summer Hikari Died. This was a gift from the lovely outside who sent it to me with a little Christmas card uh, because she was unhorning it, which I take nothing from that because uh, a lot of things that people DNF because they they don't gel with it or it's weird normally like appeals to me. So I'm so very excited for this. <laughs> and basically it's about this guy and this guy, and I believe this is Hikaru, and he dies? I'll read the back, shall I? <laughs> it has Hikaru's face, it has Hikaru's voice, it even has Hikaru's memories. But whatever came down from the mountain six months ago isn't Yoshiki's best friend. Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Carrying on at school and hanging out as if nothing has changed, as if Hikaru isn't gone, would be crazy. But when it looks so very like Hikaru and acts so very like Hikaru, and that's it and i think it's going to be weird and i'm living so i'm very excited for that i then have the kurosagi corpse delivery service i've talked about this in a recent haul video it's an omnibus which i somehow missed so it's not really three volumes um in total because it's going to be like four five five i can add five um but i will be reading the whole thing as my taster and this is about I'll just read the back again, shall I? Yeah. Five young students at a Buddhist university find there's little call for their job skills in today's Tokyo, among the living that is, but their studies give them a direct line to the dead, the dead who are still trapped in their corpses and can't move on to the next reincarnation. Whether you died from suicide, murder, sickness or madness, they'll carry your body anywhere it needs to go to free your soul. I'm truly so intrigued by this. I did kind of mostly get it because of the title. That was what first appealed to me, but actually I think this sounds really cool. So that's number two. And then number three, you probably guessed, because I also hold this recently, it's PDSD Radio. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped for this. This is, this is truly weird. Oh, this is an omnibus. So six, six, technically six volumes. <laughs> an unseen hand tugs at your braid. You find an old sealed box with a tangled mess of dark hair inside. In the hallway outside your room, a river of curls is slinking away, an ominous lump at its heart. It won't be long before you feel a gushy Sama's fingers slithering across your scalp. Before it's too late, tune into PTSD radio. Yes! It sounds so weird and so creepy. And the art looks so creepy. And I am just pumped. Yes, this was, this was good. This was a good idea. Okay, I was very much in danger of slumping after the D&D vlog <laughs> because, spoilers again if you haven't seen that vlog yet, but the, the books didn't go well, the fantasy books did not go well and unfortunately a lot of what I have left on my TBR for the month is, um, is fantasy. So this could be the perfect palette cleanser I need to get me out of this slump. Yes, good work Gemma brain skills good i swear to god if this goes badly you're gonna see me cry is that what you want do you want to see me cry that's a friend's reference okay the lighting is shit jensen's shouting on the xbox and my tea is about to be ready however i just finished the first volume of the summer hikari died and i need to talk to you about it okay <laughs> i knew 
going in that it was going to be weird. The whole premise of the things that I put on this list is that they're weird, aside from maybe the Yakuza's going to babysitting. But especially with this vlog, these three volumes, they're all weird. This was me weird. This was so me weird. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the first thing that I want to talk about is the art style because, oh, it just, okay, I think this is probably like the best one to show you because there's no spoilers or anything, but it's just the way that shading is used to really like give this like dimension to the lighting and things like that, if that makes sense. It is, it is so beautifully done. Like even like the really weird moments that I can't show you, they're just beautiful. The art style is, I'm in love with it. Oh, this, okay. I don't think there's any spoilers here, but this is a great, can you see? It's just so good. It's so good. So visually it's really enjoyable to read. And I'm loving the story or the thing is, is that it's not heavy on plot. But there's a lot of intrigue for me. There's like some weird things that have been raised and we're kind of being slowly, very slowly drip fed different bits of information that are kind of tying them together. And very early on, like literally within like the first couple of pages, Yoshiki is acknowledging the fact. Is it Yoshiki? Is that how we say it? Yeah, I'm going to go with Yoshiki. Yoshiki addresses that this is not Hikaru. Like he knows it's not Hikaru. And that kind of changes the dynamic. Because obviously from the back verb, we're aware that Yoshiki knows this is not Hikari. And he is not trying to hide the fact that he knows that. And that adds this whole other dimension to it. Personally, I feel like as much as this is about what has taken over Hikaru and figuring out what happened to Hikaru and what this thing is and what it wants and is it affecting the rest of the village, it's also just about Yoshiki dealing with his grief because his best friend who he probably had more than that feelings for like there's definitely that kind of undertone there's definitely this simmering not like romance not romance but I can I can feel that Yoshiki feels felt something different for Hikaru and there's possibly that Hikaru did as well but it's, it's not a hundred percent but there's definitely that kind of vibe and it's just Yoshiki kind of having to deal with the fact that Hikaru is dead and nobody else is aware of that. And he knows that this person or this thing in front of him, this creature, whatever it is, is not Hikaru. But how do you just like switch those feelings off? Like, how do you just go, even though this person in front of me looks like Hikaru, sounds like Hikaru, has all of Hikaru's memories, how am I supposed to deal with the fact that it's not him? How do I turn off? the emotions that I have. This was beautiful, beautifully weird. Beautiful and weird. I can't wait to get volume two. This was such a good way to start and really is just like helping me get out of this weird slump that I was slipping into. This was a good shout. Also, the covers, this kind of like block color with the characters just there on the front, that didn't make any sense, but you know what I'm saying, like the block color is really beautiful and i have had a look and the next ones i think the next one is like green and then there's yellow and i think the fourth one is going to be orange but there's only two volumes out of this so far so you can bet your ass that it's already mm, tentatively in my amazon basket i'm pretty sure i'm going to be ordering it very soon it's on the it's on the list anyway it's going to be in my house soon i definitely can see this being one that i'm going to collect and read because Yes, it's horror, but it's also slice of life. It's also just about the relationship between the two. It's about grief. It's about a weird creature that possibly is affecting everything. It's so good. Yes, this was. This is a me. This is me. This is a me manga. So obviously, uh, this is five stars. I, I feel like that was obvious, but just to clarify, yes, it is a five stars. And now I need to decide what I'm picking up next. I think it's going to be PTSD Radio. I think I want to leave Kurosagi's Corpse Delivery Service till the end of this vlog because, possibly because it's the longest, but yeah, I think next PTSD Radio. But this was a fantastic start. It's not been long since I last updated you, maybe a couple of hours if that. We're in Jensen's room. 
incredibly messy room. This is the best that I can offer. Don't look over there. My God. Anyway, I have an update for you. I started PTSD radio. I'm about halfway through, so I finished like part one. So like what I guess would have been the first volume. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I can't tell whether I like it or not. Honestly. Yes, it's very weird. Yes, the artwork is very creepy and good. And I'm starting to see how things are linking together. But each chapter, I'm not really sure if they are chapters, each like mini story, I guess it would be a chapter. I mean, they're numbered like they're chapters. They're, they're incredibly short, which is not really an issue. I'm just, I'm not really sure that I'm getting it. <laughs> This was not what I expected. I really thought I would just kind of be along for the vibes, but my brain is like, so how is this all linking together? And won't just go along for the ride. I think I see where we're going. I'm not 100%, I think. I'm gonna try and read the second one now before Danny goes to work. Um, and then maybe I'll know. If this doesn't work for me, I swear to God, this has to work for me. It's weird and just going on general vibes and that, that should be perfect for me. It's just a bummer, right? Because I know that I haven't finished this, but technically I finished the first volume and I'm just like, sure, yeah, good. Whereas with The Summer Hokari Died, I'm already like, I need volume two. I'm invested in that weird, world even though again like not a huge amounts happened it was all just kind of like general uneasiness and getting introduced to it and yet i'm very invested whereas there's not really anything to be invested in with this which i did know because i just kind of know that i think it's just meant to be like interconnected stories so maybe i just need to wait for the connection to hit but is that going to happen in the second one in the second part or am I going to have to buy more? Because do I want to keep investing in something where I'm not even sure whether I... You know? I'll read the second part and then I'll update you and hopefully things will all have fallen into place for me. So it's been a few hours and I finished PTSD Radio and honestly I'm not really sure what I'd make of it. Off the top of my head I feel like the rating's going to be a like a 3.5 Maybe I'll confirm once I've had a chance to sit with it. But yeah, I'm thinking that's kind of what it's going to be, which honestly is quite shocking. I'm not, I don't really get the hype. I don't really get the hype um, because yes, for sure, there is some creepy ass imagery in this. There was a few pages where I was just like, yeah, that's creepy. One gave me like a little bit of a shiver. But honestly, it is so hard to follow. We're jumping back and forwards in time with lots of different characters. I can't fully grasp how they're all interconnected. And it would take me like part way through what is, which, which is admittedly a short chapter to be like, oh, we've seen these people before because there was quite a lot of characters but then so many of them just seem to be for like one chapter. So then you kind of forget who they are. And then when they come back, you, you well, because you've forgotten who they are, you don't remember. So it takes a while for it all to connect. So although there are connections between the stories, because it's so disjointed, because it's so back and forth, because there seems to be about three or four storylines which i'm sure are going to be in interconnected but each of those storylines has branches off as well this is only two volumes that's a lot do you know what i mean like we've got one guy but with i honestly don't know <laughs> and i just finished it there does seem to be this like god type thing like well not like a god well maybe i don't know it's like a statue like a, a like a shrine and a big thing about it is like using hair 
as part of it so like to help a loved one who has died to like go to where the ancestors are so i'm not really sure that's i don't think that's like heaven but helping them like pass on to the to the right place and things like that so a lot of the stuff had to do with hair hair is a big thing which i knew it made me think a lot of um is it sensor by uh Gen Gio, because that also has to do with a lot of hair and um, has a lot to do with hair rather yeah like i don't know i don't know i need to sit with this for a little while the thing is okay they're not like cheap and as much as I adore the covers I think the covers are super creepy and weird and I love that and I'd like to have them on my shelves like it's a lot of money to put into something where I can't even tell whether I'm enjoying it I want to I want to enjoy it for sure and on paper it should really work for me because it's all about creepy shit which obviously yes sign me up but then for this don't <laughs> i don't know i'm so conflicted i think like i would like to try the second one fringe is again just doing its own thing i would like to try the second one i think i think we'll sit on that okay i have kurosagi's corpse delivery service left to go i have high hopes for this one but i i should have said that because everything that i'm saying at the minute i have high hopes for i'm picking it up and it's just not really delivering um i feel <laughs> and this is so not the mindset to have going into the final one but i feel like the some hikari died has kind of like lulled me into this false sense of that they're all going to be so good i need to stop being defeatist okay so here's what's gonna happen i'm not gonna read any more tonight because it's 11 o'clock at night and you would think oh yeah because you need to go to bed no i have watched 20 episodes of attack on titan in a lot uh, in four days hated it at work because i was super tired because some nights were seven episodes but i only have the two long episodes left now that is about two and a half hours of anime but yes i am going to be watching it tonight and i'm kind of a little bit emotional about it i don't know if anybody's noticed um <laughs> but tag on titan is like my favorite thing i feel like i've hidden it very well i don't speak about it often um i'm very subtle with my love for it now obviously i have completed the manga so i know what's going to happen nothing is going to be like hellishly shocking but once i watch it there is no new to me attack on titan i have read all the manga i have watched all the anime and i've said before that i've been putting the anime off because i don't want it to be over and i know it's not over because i can reread it i can rewatch it i've got before the fall to read there's still a few like light novels in that i haven't read and um i still have to continue junior high so there's still things for me in that world but it's not it's not like the main thing this owns me this owns my heart my soul i don't know i don't know but something and yeah it's just kind of um a bummer but it's going to be done so the next clip might be me in my emotions i might sneak that in here and then tomorrow tomorrow i will start this well this might take me longer because it is three volumes i'm aware that i've kind of read three volumes today um we'll see we'll see but hopefully hopefully it's going to be a good end excuse the terrible lighting and the terrible angle but it is half past two in the morning I just finished watching Attack on Titan for the first time. As in, I've completed it for the first time. Am I okay? <laughs> no, I'm okay. But I do cry quite a bit. The last two episodes, they're obviously long episodes. They're like special episodes. So one's an hour, one's an hour and 25 minutes. And obviously I know everything that's coming because I've read the manga already. And you would think that that would mean that I would be prepared. And yet. <laughs> so 
so many emotions and also it took me so long it took me longer to watch it than it should have done i'm so glad i watched it on my own because there are moments i can't divulge the moments but there are moments in the manga that I was really looking forward to seeing animated and um so i watched those bits more than once i was just like yeah okay we just need to watch that again and rewind it and watch it again so i would have annoyed sorry i'm being attacked by my own hair i would have annoyed anybody that i watched it with so it's better for me just to watch it on my own i don't know what to do with myself I have decided that technically I'm extending it to tomorrow because I'm going to watch the OVAs tomorrow because there is like uh, Ilsa's notebook. No regrets I've already seen but I think I might just watch it again. Um, and then there's one with Sean which I'm pretty sure I've seen that as well. I'm going to watch it again and The Lost Girls. There's three, three OVAs for The Lost Girls so I'm going to watch those. Yeah. I've now officially read and watched all of Attack on Titan. This feels like a bigger moment than it, it should be. <laughs> I just, yeah, this probably doesn't really, this is a really flattering angle as well. So you're welcome. And this is a strange update in a manga vlog, but it feels like, it feels like the only time to really do this kind of update would be in a manga vlog. Like this is where it feels like it fits. Wow. Okay, well clearly I'm going to have to watch that again. Not now, but at some point I'm going to have to watch that again. Um, I've Maybe I should have just done this and did my update like this, but it's done now. And um, I am already rereading it very slowly. But now that might be happening a bit quicker because obviously I need to fill the void. What I also will do tomorrow is probably make a start on a new anime because... I will be honest, a lot of the reason why I haven't watched a lot of anime in the last few months is because I didn't watch, want to watch anything that wasn't Attack on Titan or JJK, um, but I wasn't pre emotionally prepared or emotionally ready uh, to complete Attack on Titan. And then all of a sudden that happened. And now I feel like if I don't watch something straight away, when it starts something new soon, then I'll keep putting it off because I'll be in like a attack on titan hangover if that makes sense anyway this is rambly i'm so tired it was so worth it fuck i love this i just love attack on titan okay if i hadn't made that clear i'm gonna go to bed now because i have stuff to do tomorrow and i cannot sleep in and it's literally half past two so i'm gonna sleep when i speak to you next i hopefully will have at least be part way through might update you when i'm like a volume into kurosagi uh corpse delivery service and then i don't know so i don't know what i'm doing anymore <laughs> bed that's what i'm doing bed so much time has passed since we last spoke i'm in the kitchen because the boys are in the bedroom playing stuff jensen's on his switch danny's on xbox anyway i'm one volume into kurosagi it's taken me a long time I'm not really sure why. Not because of the manga, because when I actually sit down and read it, I'm reading it quite quickly. Um, I just haven't really been reading as much. What have I been doing? Watching anime. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of anime. So I'm one volume in, and this is so weird. This is so weird and dark, but also funny. So there's a lot of dark humour. There's some really, like, it's pretty graphic. Like, I wouldn't recommend it to a lot of people. There's some really horrendous subject matter, basically. Uh, like, in the first volume, uh, sorry, in the first chapter, there was, oh, there was a, something happened. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because uh, it was, like, really grim, really gross. Um, and it has continued to be gross, but... It didn't make me feel sick like that first bit did like the first bit made me feel a little bit sick not because it was like graphic but just because of the subject matter it just made me feel a little bit like new but the rest of it's been pretty good and like i say there's a lot of comedy involved and it's basically these guys at a buddhist university who don't really have any prospects because they're not like linked to a temple or anything so they're not sure what they're going to do after university and they all have these like abilities and one of them this guy um Kur Kurutsu? Kurutsu? um i can't remember he 
is like psychic and he can like talk to the dead so now he can find out what they want basically and they're turning it into a business so it's it's very dark humor but i am really enjoying it so i'm not sure i'm going to be able to finish it tonight but i quite like to if i can because um time is ticking well i say time is ticking i really want to get this vlog up on saturday it's now tuesday it's now tuesday and um i still have quite a lot of to read in february so if i keep like putting this off was that sorry i live with an elephant apparently so if i keep putting it off then the other things that i want to read um i'm not going to get to and when i say putting it off i don't mean like putting it off because i'm not enjoying it or i'm not interested in it it's just generally in general putting things off because i'm just i don't know <laughs> i've read quite a lot this month and my brain is like we should just watch anime it's like no we still have things to do what i will say is that this bind up i'm not a huge fan of because it's quite short like you know like how some the the three in one bind ups for attack on titan are a bit, they're a bit bigger than this um it's just a little bit unwieldy to read and also like no matter how hard i try it's starting to bend and i don't think you know i'm not going to be able to flatten that i don't think so that's a little bit frustrating and plus there's like that's my own fault because it was ripped and I accidentally pulled it off and then tried to stick it down with sellotape and um, dropped it. So finding that tiny slither of paper is obviously not going to happen. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling to you. I came down to make a tea and then I'm going to go and continue this and see how far I can get. If I can finish it, good. If not, I am going to the hairdressers tomorrow so I could always take it with me to read whilst my hair dye is processing. Plants. We have plans. Can't wait to get my hair done tomorrow because this is out of control. What even is this? What's happening? <sighs> That's the best we're going to get. It's been a couple of hours. I've read, well, I don't actually know how long it's been. I've read the second volume of this and it was so good. It was so good. Like, this is is twisted but with like this core group of characters that i'm really starting to become like invested in and really start to to like they're all kind of just a bit i don't know like i'm not loving anybody in particular yet like i'm starting to warm to the characters as we go and i'm starting to find that the characterizations are coming in and being built and they're really interesting the more i get to know about them but some of the stuff that it's talking about like the subjects that it's tackling are so deep in a way um we've just done like without going into spoiler territory we've just done like this whole thing about is it capital punishment with executions basically and you know how people will be on death row for years at costing money for the taxpayer um but it doesn't really give any closure to victims families or anything um so that it was a really interesting uh conversation with a very dark twisted approach you know <laughs> so yeah i'm really really enjoying it i've got one volume left um, which I am going to read, but I'm not going to take it to the hairdressers with me tomorrow because there's a lot of imagery in it that, um, I just feel it's probably best I read it at home. You know, there's a lot of boobs, um, and there's been a lot of downstairs areas, both male and female. Um, although probably surprising no one, the female, uh, downstairs area is more detailed than the male downstairs area. Um, <laughs> because of course it is because that's just isn't that always the way do you know what i mean anyway um <laughs> did not think i would be talking about this the thing is right this is not going to work for everybody because this deals so much with death with so many different forms of death you know it's very dark but like i say approaches it in a way that is Something. approaches in a way that is just kind of 
not humorous, but it has humorous moments. They kind of tackle it in their own way, but they're, they're coming across obviously dark things like murder and suicide and all this kind of stuff. There was, there was one thing in like, I think it was in the first volume, there was one point where I thought it was going to lose me because it was a bit far-fetched. But then one of the characters addressed that it was really far-fetched and like that they didn't buy it. And I was like, oh, okay. And then obviously the second volume had a lot of a, a deeper conversation. Yeah, and I got to know the characters a bit more. And I also am really enjoying the art style. Can I find something just to quickly show you that is one, not a spoiler, and two, um, not too much, you know, not, not too much. Mm, no, I was like, oh, maybe like the first page. Mm, no, not so much. Um, here, this isn't too much. This is our like main character. Where's the camera? Do I know? So this is our main character, and that's kind of like our art style. And I just, I really like it. There's something. Um, no, it's another one. Kind of. So it's just, it's just a really nice art style. Um, the book is definitely bending. Can you see? You can tell which bit I've read, which is annoying and I'm not sure how to stop that from happening because I'm trying not to bend the spine but it's just, you know, it, it is just happening. There's not really anything I can do about it because I can't read it like this, do you know what I mean? Like I have to be able to see the whole page. I'm not bending it too far but it is what it is. So, so far, really enjoying it. The themes are not going to be for everyone, but I'm enjoy enjoying is the wrong word. I appreciate how it's being addressed and handled and the conversations that it's having whilst not being too heavy. Um, it is heavy in some ways, but the way the conversation is heavy, but the way it's being presented is not too heavy. I don't think that makes any sense. It makes sense in my brain, but enjoying it, not going to read it tomorrow. Well, I probably will read it tomorrow, just not the hairdressers, because um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I will be comfortable reading it in the hairdressers, just with the images that are in here, not just the nudity, but it can be quite graphic. So, all that's to say that I'm putting it down two volumes read, and I will read the final volume, hopefully after the hairdressers tomorrow, if not Thursday, and then I will update you because then we'll be on track to have this for you on Saturday. Look at me, sticking to plans. Who would have thought it? I'm here to give you my final thoughts on Kurosagi and to wrap the vlog up in general. I have clearly been to the hairdressers. I did not take this and I'm so glad that I did not. <laughs> the subject matter is so, dark and there's it has a lot of like fairly horrific imagery um so yeah probably not the best thing to be reading when you're having your hair done i took the promise neverland instead <laughs> so much cheerier so first off the final volume was fantastic and overall i'm gonna give this a five stars because i would say that each volume is a five stars in its own right the first one gave a really good introduction to the characters and the world and kind of really set the tone the second volume had a lot of really interesting things to say and i can see that that's kind of going to continue because it doesn't just it's not just about like oh here's a dead body like it all has something to say about like society or things that we do to each other and it's just really really interesting and in the third volume that's where I discovered that I'm guessing this was written in like the early 2000s or at least it's set in the early 2000s because the final um volume starts out and that kind of like it tells you that it's like 2003 and that is when the war in Iraq was really starting um so I remember this quite vividly happening because when 9-11 happened I was 11 years old and I remember it all going down but you don't really understand like the full impact and you don't really see everything that's happening you just kind of know well we all we all saw 9-11 uh, um which is probably why a lot of millennials are kind of like 
because we all saw that at a young age but <laughs> what I was gonna say is that you don't necessarily see like the broader part of it you just kind of see like we're at war or there is a war and this um uh, really kind of talked about like the fact that there was a lot of protest against the war and also talks about like um Iraqi refugees so in without going into like spoiler territory it has a lot to say about how refugees are treated I was going to say were treated but I don't necessarily think that it has improved as much as it could like I do think it's a little bit better maybe but it's not my experience so what do I know but there is some pretty horrendous things that happen in this it has a lot to say about just kind of having basic human decency to each other um and then there's also this conversation about how they're taken advantage of and how they're kind of more at risk from certain things um particularly like crime and black market stuff um and then there was like that was like the first two chapters and that was really kind of like a hard read but it was really well done and then the then the next chapter was so cool because it was like a like a, a game type thing and you know you know with my alice in borderland current obsession um and also literally just before i came on here i watched the first episode of a new anime called or a new to me anime called tomodachi game which i'm really excited about um so games is where i'm at at the minute so i found that volume that um chapter really interesting this is one of the weirdest things i've ever read but everything is handled in a really um, really good way like i don't really know how to describe it like it's got some horrific subject matter it's got some really like gross imagery and yet the whole time it it kind of felt not like light-hearted but it definitely had its light-hearted moments like the characters are really uh, not soft but they're just you know they're, they're all just kind of like regular people um I love the way that they interact with each other I love the more that we get to know about them each one has like a different ability very very excited to continue this series um it'll probably be a little while before i can get the next one because they're not cheap but i definitely see myself like slowly collecting and reading this because the stories within have a lot more to say than just we found a dead body what do we do with it like there's a lot of good discussions in this which i really appreciate let's wrap this up of the nine series we're off to a good start because these three have mostly been good least favorite ptsd radio I'm as shocked as probably a lot of you are because on paper this definitely sounds like my sort of thing like even just from the cover I should love this but I just find it so difficult to follow. I am going to try and give it another volume I think but I'm wondering whether I try it digitally uh, because I don't want to invest in another one of these volumes if I'm not going to enjoy it because then you know. If I'm not going to enjoy it, I'll sell this one. So possibly give this a try digitally, see how we go. It was a 3.5. I did sit on it for a little while. And uh, yeah, 3.5 definitely is the right rating. Kind of bummed about that one, not going to lie. In second place is Kurosaki's Corpse Delivery Service. Really love the kind of approach to this. Love the themes. Love the questions it asks and the things that it addresses. I forgot to mention, but the reason that I would put it in second place is probably because I don't know if it's a translation issue or if it's a printing issue, but there are a few places where I was stumbling over sentences because like either the wrong word was used or it was misused. And once it was like printed twice and it just kind of took me out of it for a second because like, for example, I think one of, one of the times they should have used wasn't and they'd written want very different so it kind of just threw me a little bit but because of the kind of characters in this and the questions that it's asking the things it's addressing it's still a five stars absolutely love it and definitely want to continue which means obviously we started with my favorite i can see me absolutely loving this series the art in it stunning the vibe of it perfect i can't wait to get my hands on volume two because i need to read it asap this is perfect for me absolutely perfect thank you Rachel, again for sending it to me i can't wait to continue <sighs> this was a good time so that's three done we still have six to go so there will be future vlogs i'm not entirely sure when um i don't 
intend on cramming them all into like the beginning of the year we'll we'll just kind of see when they happen but there's some still some on here that i am like super excited to get to and this is now the one to be which i love because i've been really excited for that one and i'm so glad that it lived up to it because as you are aware we've been on a run if you have any thoughts on the ones that i've read so far let me know in the comments below of the six that are left if there's any that you think i should definitely prioritize in the next vlog also let me know or if you just want me to know you're here that pub cart is always appreciated thank you guys so so much for watching if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more content from me remember to hit that button leave a like if you want to and i shall see you in the next one bye